Hello guys, you will back with another video of Kathia V5 and in this video I will continue with the DMU Kinematic series that we started this week and the very first video you can see I have already posted that was Revolute and in this video I am going to show how cylindrical works and how cylindrical is different from Revolute function so let's get started so you can see that I am going to use the same parts that I used in the last video for making the revolute function first I'm going to make the cylindrical function and I'm also going to compare simultaneously how is revolute different from cylindrical so if I go back so this this was what exactly I made initially as a replay for revolute and you can see that I fixed at a certain distance which was 10 millimeter I can also make sure that how much was the distance if we can go to the joint oh this was prismatic that I was just trying to practice for a while and initially what we had was revolute when what we did was these two surfaces with the plane right here and the other plane right at the bottom as well zoom in bottom it and kept it to be 10 millimeters and when I click OK you can see that one degree of freedom is there and simply to eradicate that degree of freedom I'm going to use that command for making sure to turn on the visualization and drive this angle from 0 to 360 and you can see it will be simulated and hence we have like replays and everything that we can use in order to possess that particular feature but anyhow so in this video and now so you can see that for revolute we needed a function one line and planes as well and also we need to specify the offset value basically the planes are the one which are responsible for you to distinguish the difference between the two surfaces so that's why you need to make sure that whatever, whenever you do this and if you have two parts that are moving in a cylindrical motion but are at a separate distance or a particular distance then only you use your revolute joint if two joints are moving in a cylindrical motion something like a piston engine which I'm going to assume in this case we have two piston engines and I'm just going to modify the existing part so that you can understand what exactly I'm going to make. So I'm going to add two more parts into it, which are going to be new components, new parts with a different origin, just to specify and show you like how would I personally do if I have to do. So part number three is going to be a piston that I'm going to make. Just a simple nod. And you can see I'm going to make it at a certain distance. Simplify right here this is good enough and I'm going to make a hollow the concept is going to be the same it's just slightly different this will be that the concept is going to be different the joints are going to be different this is one and I'm going to do a similar kind of thing the second part as well Click on second part. I'm going to make a sketch onto this body. I'm going to offset this, project it basically, and I don't need to offset it, that's fine. I'm going to use the same mechanism, but let's assume that this is a body that is longer in comparison to the previous parts that we made 700 less 600 so basically a cylinder cylindrical shape that's going to be easier for you to visualize what exactly i will be looking for you can also visualize in the smaller one but i want to differentiate later on the difference between the revolute and the cylindrical so now you can see it was showing me an error that i'm not able that i'm trying to move the katia part so make sure you always double click on the product 
and click the part so that it moves so right now you can see that I have different plane systems I can just hide all those if I want to because there are a lot of planes I just need parts so that's why I'm just going to focus on them I'm going to multi select and just hide them I'm not deleting them so don't get me wrong hide them and there we go there and there hide and there we go so now we have the first part that we showed as a revolute and we have a bigger part here that I'm going to show as cylindrical at then we'll show like how they are different so for the cylindrical you need to make sure a couple of things the first of all thing is you need to have some some specific parts that are more or less fixed in, in a certain way so what I mean by that is if you have this kind of open cylindrical it's not going to be fully defined because in Revolute you can see that you were actually driving something which was an angle in the previous case whereas in a cylindrical you cannot drive you can just drive length and also an angle but it's not going to be specific at a certain distance unlike we have 10 millimeter for the revolute but still I'm just going to show you how it works so here is the cylindrical joint you click on it cylindrical mechanism I'm going to say new mechanism and mechanism 2 is ok and line 1 and line 2 same exactly like that but it doesn't have anything else other than angle driven or length driven option so I click ok so I click turn on the joint visualization on and you can see that I just made one simulation extra simulation which is simulation 2 and I have the joint for cylindrical between two different parts and it doesn't specify anything else whether it's angle driven or length driven or something so I can simply double click and then let's say if I'm going to do the length driven so I want it to go from 100 negative 100 to 100 let's say by default it's already selected okay okay it needs a, needs a fixed part as well okay cannot be simulated okay no problem we have many other things to do as well yet simulation I think it's having an interference between two mechanisms because I, I'm trying to do two different mechanisms within the same product but let's see how it's going to work so I have length driven 100 to 100 it should show the joint visualization is not showing anyways that's not a problem no problem mechanism 2 the mechanism can be simulated if you want to simulate add a fixed part which we already did right here that's the fixed part that we simulated that's weird joint between two different parts and let's delete this let's delete this as well let's see I have fixed this first looks like your domain is not linked with any other part in the mechanism okay okay no problem if I try to put a mechanism now what about it oh, the first simulation goes up by 7 so this thing is interfering with us so I'm just going to get rid of this the first mechanism I'm going to delete it I'm just going to left to second mechanism so you can see that I have two cylinders with length driven and also option for angle driven as well I have to do both of them in order to get the degree of freedom to be zero so now it's going to show me an error it needs a fixed part so I click fix the part you can see the mechanism can be simulated but you saw the difference in this is it's length driven and it's angle driven so we are commanding two different simulations 
so we are controlling two different positions one is the length itself that we want the other part to go in and out by 100 millimeter on each side and then is the angle as well the angle of the first part spinning clockwise and anti-clockwise that's why it's different different from revolute because in revolute we were just having one the control z in order to show you in, in revolute we just had one because of the fact that the part that we had let me delete simulation 2 or just delete it there we go degree of freedom okay no problem so this was the replay of the first one because we already specified a certain distance right that's why it was we were able to play the game the angle from 0 to 360 and just angle driven no land driven because land driven will be only possible if we have any room to play with but in this case we have already specified that the offset distance is going to be 10 millimeters so we don't have any room to move whereas in cylindrical you can specify the length as well as the angle so that's the main difference between cylindrical and revolute i'm going to show once again and we will also make a simulation out of it so cylindrical is pretty simple you choose new mechanism okay the first part the second part and you land drive or angle drive or you choose both click ok and then it will ask you for a fixed part as always you had, if you don't have it just click on fixed part and click the mechanism can be simulated now you can simulate the mechanism you can see you can simulate it manually so this thing needs manual simulation so this so the same thing what I'm going to do is delete twice insert once and then you drag it then you move it as well then you insert it there we go that looks good so what we are going to do is we are trying to replay ok not this one we made a simulation just right now we need to go mechanism 1 yeah this is the one that we want to delete once again insert once you drag it once insert it nice slow down the speed just to play it and yeah that looks good yeah I click OK. Okay, the second simulation. There we go. Now we can make a replay out of that. Compile. Replay 2. Simulation 2. Time left 0 0.01. Click OK. And we will have a simulation of. Now we will have two replays. The first one is not going to work because we have already deleted the first one, which was the revolute. And here I am just going to play it in loop just to show you guys how it works. And you see it's length driven you can drive the length and also the angle at the same time so that's how cylindrical is different from revolute so that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe my channel for seeing those kind of more and more videos in future and also i'm going to be sharing more features more solidworks more katia more mastercam and like even something new if i come up with if I learn anything, I'm just going to show you whatever I know. Just like my channel name, everything I know. So thank you and take care. Bye.